I'm a true fan of all sports, and I'm a true admirer of the elite athletes in each and every one of those sports. So when I see a guy do something and brings me out of my chair, you go, wow. I'll give you an example. Tennis is, to me, a fascinating sport. And if you watch Federer play, you just keep thinking, wow, can he just keep going to another level? It's pretty remarkable what he's accomplishing. When I watch basketball, when you see LeBron James and see what he accomplishes, and then you say, well, I gotta watch him play again tomorrow night because he might be better than he was last night. That's what's enticing for me as a fan. I, I was relaxed. I never worried about it. You know, it's like my dad always says, it's like going into an exam. If you study for your exam, when you get to that exam, you're like, all right, where is it? The kids who are nervous are the ones who didn't study for the exam. And my dad always said, failing to um, prepare is preparing to fail. By the time game time came around, that was the easy part. A lot of times, athletes go, oh my God, I'm under the microscope, the pressure of game seven or Wimbledon final set. Great athletes seem to think, wow, this is what it was like when I was nine years old in the backyard or at a community center thinking and dreaming of one day being in this position, and they embrace it. Uh, I think part of it is in your blood, it's in your DNA. It's a combination of excelling, and also they don't let the boy and them leave. So there's all kinds of different physical strengths and those are the, the things you have to uh, capitalize on whatever your strengths are and I, I did to a maximum. The things I did away from hockey made me the player I became. Track and field, uh, I used to run long distance so it was all anaerobic and I built up my heart rate and people said, how did you play those two minute shifts? And well, it started when I was eight years old running two mile races and so, you know, you build it up. There's very few athletes that when you go watch them play can bring you out of your seat at any given time. The greatest athlete in any sport really seem to enjoy the game when there seems to be more on the line. Still has it. Centered it. Oh, it's good! And that's what separates uh, stars from superstars, as far as I'm concerned. When I was a player, I could tell you every single thing about every player that was in the league. I used to watch each and every night. I watched every game. We, we really were enticed by um, preparation and w what's going to transpire on the ice and who you're going to play against and what, what system they're going to play against you. I'll give you an example. We play in Vancouver. You knew Vancouver was more of a defensive team that was going to sort of play in a shell and really not attack you. We played in Chicago Stadium. I knew as soon as I stepped on the ice that Chelios was going to chase me around the rink because he was going to play me aggressively. So you have to understand each and every night the system that you're going to play against is completely different, and you have to be prepared for that. And that's, I think, um, something that we as a group did every night. We were ready to play. My dad said, for whatever reason, people are going to come and year after year, people are going to want to watch you play. And each and every night, you're going to be on display and you can't play bad. You got to play good every single night. And I remember I went, ooh. And that's when it hit me at 10 years old that I had to play well every night.